crypto. All right, taking a look at uh, the concept of digital portfolios. Um, when I first uh, thought about changing my assessments over to uh, portfolios instead of uh, objective tests or essay tests, um, we're sitting at a PD at the start of uh, the school year uh, this year at Churchill, and there was a principal from a New Jersey high school that uh, talked about uh, digital magazines that he required his staff to uh, have their students produce um, for their finals rather than test. Um, he said that he left the unit test alone and let teachers do what they did on that, but when it came to final exams, uh, this was to take the place of those. And the one thing that he said that stood out to me was how, as teachers, do we know students know the material? Because on an objective test, they could guess on an answer um, for a specific topic. Um, so he wanted something more in-depth, more student-created, uh, that allowed us to understand better uh, if students understood the knowledge or not. Um, my concerns going into it was definitely a lack of uh, technology knowledge. Um, but this is uh, where Mrs. Morrison uh, stepped in and uh, you know, kind of held my hand and guided me through that to where the kids will learn on their own in terms of the tech stuff. I was there to support the concepts historically, uh, but the, the tech itself, um, you know, it was with her guidance uh, and with, with students being able to have options in terms of tools that they could use, uh, that kind of, you know, lessened my anxiety and as we move forward, uh, things went well. Um, students were at first a little bit hesitant about what to produce and how it should look, and, uh, but as we started sharing examples of student, uh, student work, uh, students got more comfortable with it, um, and uh, some students really took off with, with this, and were, they were really creative in terms of addressing the uh, concepts learned. Um, in terms of uh, the, the support from, from Mrs. Morrison and the tech piece of it, uh, the setting up of Google Classroom um, along with step-by-step uh, -step instructions on available tools uh, that students use or posted on the classroom itself. Uh, so, for example, when a student says, well, I don't know what to do or how to use Google Slides or, uh, you know, uh, poster or Google Draw for uh, digital poster boards, um, I would direct students to go to the stream and to, uh, you know, look at the videos and the instructions that Mrs. Morrison provided. And uh, students were comfortable uh, once they uh, you know, went through those step-by-step -step instructions. Um, it's made my life easier because I think given the kids options uh, for the digital portfolios in terms of what tools they could use and how they're going to answer the question, uh, increased motivation. Uh, the thing that probably made my life a little bit more difficult is that um, I graded the portfolios one-on-one -on -one with each student. Um, so it was some time consuming, but I think it's time well spent. Uh, because right then and there I could uh, ask them questions about the portfolio, did they know the content, um, uh, that, that sort of thing. So it was almost direct feedback immediately. Um, in terms of what I would do different, uh, as we learn the digital portfolios through the year in terms of what we should be providing, is definitely more detailed uh, key terms on concepts that should be included within the portfolio. As these portfolios went on through the year, um, it seemed like the teachers that I was working with, we were adding more and more of the keywords that should be included to make sure students aren't missing uh, key things. And would I do it again? Absolutely. Uh, as Mrs. Morrison probably showed you some examples, um, you know, some of the kids just uh, did a fantastic job and just uh, blew, blew me out of the water in terms of uh, what they produced. And, and, and when you watch these, these digital portfolios, um, whether it's a slideshow, a poster board, or, or a video, um, the, the question you got to ask yourself is do the, stone, do the students know the material? And uh, I think the, the answer is definitely yes.